Zoe, and one of the most frequently asked questions on our website, breadin5.com, is why are my loaves spreading out, either while they're resting or in the oven? So what I want to show you is a really quick technique of how to shape our wet dough. So our dough is wet to begin with, and yours may even be a little bit wetter than we intended, and this is how you will deal with it so that you have a beautiful loaf when it comes out of the oven. I'm just going to add some flour to the top just to keep my hands from sticking and I reach in, and this is a really wet, wet dough. Um, so I want to show you, because our dough tends to be wet to begin with, but if your dough um, is even wetter than we intended, you can still work with it. Look at this, really wet. So it's going to be super sticky on your hands, so it's important to use um, quite a bit of flour, maybe more flour than you think is right. And I'm just going to keep sprinkling some flour on it. I don't want to get any flour inside the loaf, so just um, dust some of that off if you feel like it's too much and it might clump up in the middle. And um, I want my loaf to be slightly bigger than this, so I'm just going to put another little blob um, in the middle. And I'm just going to keep adding flour and I can move my bucket and do it on the counter as well, using more flour on the counter. I'm not really kneading or incorporating this into the dough. I just want to prevent my hands from sticking and the dough from sticking on the counter. And you'll see that I'm um, sort of folding the dough over on itself because of what I want to do is I want to create a nice tight skin on the top of it so that I get a clean ball shape. And if you don't use enough flour, your hands are going to stick and it's going to stretch it into all different kinds of shapes. And so I'm just going to keep doing this. If it's getting sticky, I'm going to add a little more flour and then I can just shape it with my hands or I can put it on the counter and I can just sort of tuck the um, dough in under itself by just rotating it like this to pull that skin tight on the top. This is called gluten cloaking. And then once I have a nice tight ball, I just want to make sure that I pinched it. And that's it. And now I can put it down on my prepared um, baking peel. Again, if it's getting sticky, because our dough is very wet. And there. Now I'm ready to put it down. And you can always shape it once it's down too. And that's it. I have a nicely shaped ball of dough, which will make a gorgeous loaf. So you can see the proper shaping of the dough results in an absolutely gorgeous loaf that rose beautifully and didn't spread too much in the oven. So just be sure to use enough flour so that your hands don't stick and that you get it in a nice tight ball and you should be set to go. Enjoy!